Okay, so here we are, Mel and Clay, with another episode of Simply Flavorful with um, Village Eating House products. Today we're featuring our uh, Italian Spice Phenomenon. This is a dry spice rub mix that we uh, use for our Italian spice or our Italian sauces. Those are our sweet and sour Italian, our sultry and smoky Italian, our bold and sassy Italian, which you'll love for any taco salads. Really nice even for meatballs, barbecue meatballs, throw it in your meatloaf. But our bright and tangy Italian also has these Italian spice phenomena. Today we are using them for Clay's uh, version of our um, what are we hush making? puppies. Oh, hush puppies. Yeah, so we've been invited to a fish fry, and today we're going to make uh, fish hush puppies with the Jiffy corn muffin mix. Go ahead, Clay. So we have six packages of the Jiffy corn muffin mix, and um, you can uh, bring that down to one corn muffin mix, and you can have that recipe. I, I will attach that at the end, so you'll know the recipe to um, decrease this by a sixth. But our Jiffy corn muffin mix, we're putting in six packages today. We are going to put that into a great big mixing bowl. So for six packages of the Jiffy corn muffin mix, we are gonna go ahead and put in our flour. And so the flour we're putting in today, one, one and, and a half cup. cups. If you were just using one Jiffy corn muffin mix, you'd be using a quarter cup of flour. The flour is the thickener that's gonna help to make the uh, hush puppy batter nice and thick and fluffy as we um, will be next, we will be doing is actually adding our eggs. And because we have six packs of Jiffy corn muffin mix, we're gonna go ahead and put in six eggs we're also going to put our milk in at this point. Clay's going to put in two cups of milk. We, um, if you were using just the one Jiffy corn muffin mix pack, you would just use one third cup of the milk. But as we said, so Clay's got the six packs of the Jiffy mix in there, six eggs, two cups of milk, and the one and a half cup of flour. And he's going to mix that together, making sure that the batter is going to be nice and thick and able to stay together when we drop it in. So when we drop it into the oil, we're going to be using this um, little, it's actually a cookie dough or a mashed potato scoop. Um, it's a cookie scoop. And so this is the smallest one, um, but we're gonna be dipping those, dipping that right into and dropping that into the oil to fry these hush puppies up. But we can't fry those hush puppies up before we season them. And so again, we're gonna go ahead and season with our Italian Spice Phenomenon, and we're also gonna be seasoning with Old Bay, because what better um, seasoning to go with fish than with Old Bay? And so um, the Italian Spice Phenomenon, we are going to add, um, huh, he's first gonna put the Old Bay in, because that's the original ingredient. So he's going ahead and put in how much, Clay? I put in a teaspoon of that, and a teaspoon of our wonderful spice. And do you think that that's going to be just right, or you might need to actually adjust that depending on... I might need to adjust it with a little bit more. And you'll know that by the look of the batter, whether it has enough seasoning in it. How are you Yeah, know? I've been using the seasoning long enough that the uh, look in there, when you can see the beautiful spice... And maybe even the scent. The scent. The aroma. And you're also going to throw those red pep, or I'm sorry, red onions. So we chopped those up real nice and fine. We went ahead and put in one and a half cup of chopped red onion. And so the red onion makes a really nice flavor um, splash whenever, um, you know, a lot of times these recipes come call for green onion. Green onion's great, and it's right ready in our garden right now. I can't believe I didn't bring any with us, but we do have the nice flavorful red onion. We've chopped that up as fine as we possibly could. And, um, Ooh, this onion just smells delightful in Do you here. think you're gonna add a little bit more of the spice just for good measure? I think I'm gonna add a teaspoon of each one more. So tea two teaspoons for the six um, packs of the Jiffy mix. So. That's just gonna be, you know, you're gonna judge for yourself when you're making this at home. Spice it up as much as you like. You can't go wrong. So um, the only thing you can do is not add enough. So add enough. If you think it needs more, put more in it. We'll talk to you in a little bit whenever we're frying these pu hush puppies up. Our oil's been heating 
up now for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna test it to see if it's hot enough to make one of our wonderful hush puppies. Okay, so that hush puppy mix, we had it a little bit, the batter was a little bit um, thin. So Clay has already added a half cup of flour. So that's gonna make the total so far a one and a half plus a half a cup. So two cups of flour for six parts of Jeff Jeffy mix. This is our first time for doing this. So Clay went ahead and I'm putting it in just a little bit to see if it's hot enough. I thought you already did that. I did not. So nope. he's so putting it's, that in. And now it's in there cooking away. Do you have a, do you have a picture of it, huh? A what? Uh, yeah, we can see it. Yeah, it's cooking. Now sometimes they'll stick to the bottom. You want to get it a little bit loose so it pops up. And it looks to me like we're going to need to add a little bit more flour to it because it fell apart. Oh, okay. So are you just going to take that right out of there? I'm going to take this right out of here and we're going to add a little more flour to it. Try again. We've added another, we've actually doubled the amount of flour that we put in there originally. So it went from one and a half cups to three cups. Now we're going to try it again and see how this one works. And what we want it to do is drop, cook, and then once it's done, we want it to rise to the top. And so it's dropped now. And it looks like it's cooking. And, and it's floating up to the top. So we are good with our amount of flour now. And so it's staying in a nice little sort of all of its own, not breaking apart. And so we'll go ahead and continue to drop. Well, um, actually, at this point, I can so tell by the way quite hot enough. So Sorry. we need to let it go. Sorry, what? You can tell now by the way that it's cooking or not cooking fast enough. Yeah, the oil needs to get a little hotter, but we do have the consistency of the batter correct. And so how do you know how hot your batter, your oil needs to be? How and slow that this is cooking at this point? It's going to be saturated with a bunch of oil in it. So the temperature of the oil needs to be a little bit hotter because you want the outside of the dough to cook. But how do you know when you're oil is hot enough. We will give it another test batch in a little bit. Give it another five minutes. So Clay is starting manufacturing. At this point we are going to be cooking for about 50 people. We are dropping the batter down into the hot oil. You can see that it's really sizzling. It's about what did you say 350, 350 degrees? degrees? And he's gonna throw in quite a bit of those hush puppies letting them cook and as they come to the top, you know, he'll be, well, you'll see what he's going to do here. So he's going to add some pu puppies. And I think that we should tell you that in the end, we added, we actually doubled the flour mix. So we added one and a half cups of flour in the beginning. And then we actually added one and a half cups afterwards, knowing that, um, it was the batter was not thick enough and so that just comes by trial and error this is our first time for doing hush puppies we're doing this camping we're going to a fish fry so we're doing this outside of our camper and um we're having a great weekend um enjoying lots of food fun relaxation with friends and um we're actually doing this little project oh you can see they're going to get nice and toasty brown once they're done, he's going to flip them upside down. Actually, as they cook, they actually roll over. Oh, they roll over on their own. Is they roll over on their own, yes. Well, look at those good hush puppies doing their job. And so those are going to be um, nice and crispy, nice and brown, moist and tender, and delicious tasting on the inside. And we are going to cook those for the next couple of minutes, getting them nice and uh, ready to take to our fish fry.